Hello there. Thank you for joining me for today's practice. My name's Paula. Today we're going to go through the whole body. It's quite a nice gentle sequence, but we will still work through the whole body. Uh, perfect for the morning or if you just want to do something after you get back from your day or something like that. We're going to make a start standing, so make sure you feel comfortable. And then let's just start with the feet hip distance apart and bring the palms and hands together in front of your chest. When you're ready, closing down the eyes. Starting to connect with your breathing. Slowing down the inhale and slowing down the exhale. Just notice how you're feeling at the moment. sense of grounding down through the feet as you lengthen up through the crown of the head. And with each breath in, imagine the breath waking up the whole body. Let's open up the eyes, releasing the arms down by your side, taking the arms out to the side, take an inhale as you exhale, bending through the knees, crossing the arms and then inhale, open the arms out and then exhaling. Inhale, circle the arms up and out and then exhale as you bend and again inhaling and exhale. So one more time, inhaling. And then exhale, releasing the arms down by your side. Take another inhale, reach those arms up, hook the thumbs, reach the fingertips up towards the ceiling. Press down through the feet, draw those lower ribs in. Take an inhale, I'll mirror you. Let's go to the right. So we're going to go over to the right hand side, big side bend. And then inhale, come back up through centre. Exhaling over to your left. And then inhale through centre, exhaling to the right. And let's hold it here for a couple of breaths. Trying to bring that right shoulder forward. Keep the breath open. Reach out through those arms. Take one more big breath in. Inhale, stay for the exhale, see if there's any more space. And then inhale, come back up through centre. Release the arms down to shoulder height. Take your right arm underneath, left arm on top. We're going to take our eagle arm. So wrapping the arms around, try to take the forearms and the hands if you can. If this doesn't work, you could take hold of your, your shoulders. Take an inhale, lift the elbows up. As you exhale, bend the knees and let's fold forward. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Try to let the head relax down. Just allowing the weight of the arms to lengthen the torso forward. as much as you can trying to find the breath just one more full breath in here stay for the exhale and then inhale bend through the knees rolling all the way up keep the arms as they are as you exhale side bend to the right and then inhale through center side bend to the left and then inhale back through center Release those arms, take the arms out to the side once again, inhale, reach the arms up, hooking the thumbs once again. Reach the fingertips up, trying to straighten those arms. Let's take one more breath in. As you exhale, side bend to the left. And then inhale through centre, side bend to the right. Inhale centre, side bend to the left and let's hold it here for a few breaths. And this time trying to bring that left shoulder forward. Inhaling, stay for the exhale. See if there's any more space to come down a little bit deeper. 
and then inhale, come back upright. Exhale, release the arms down to shoulder height. Left arm underneath, right arm on top. Crossing the arms over, wrapping the arms around. Remember, you can take hold of the shoulders. Take an inhale, lift the elbows up a little bit higher. As you exhale, bend through the knees and let's fold down. Uttanasana. Try to let the back of the neck relax. So the head is hanging, shifting the weight slightly forward onto the balls of the feet. And one more full breath. And on the next inhale, bend through the knees. Take a spinal roll to come all the way up to standing. Inhale, exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale through center, side bend to the right. Inhale through center, and then let's release the arms. Stepping forward towards the top of the mat if you're not already there. Feet can stay hip distance apart. Reach those hands down, reach the crown of the head up. Take an inhale to reach the arms up. Palms the hands come together. And then exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Bending the knees here if you need to, let the head relax down. And then plant the hands down, step back into your down facing dog, just so we can come down into our tabletop. Setting up the wrists underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips, spreading into the fingers. And taking a couple of cat cows here, so release the belly down, draw the tips of the shoulders away, lifting the eyes, inhale. Exhale, curve the spine up towards the ceiling. Draw the belly button in, tuck the chin in, and then inhaling, uncurl the spine, sternum forward, eyes lift. Exhaling, go the other way. And then inhaling, come back to neutral for a moment. Option here to turn those fingers to point back towards the knees, just to open up across the front of the wrists if that feels available for you. Release the belly down, lift the eyes, inhale. Exhale, go the other way. And again, inhaling. And then exhale. And then release back into your neutral spine. Turn the fingers to point forward. Tuck the toes under, down facing dog. Settling into your down facing dog. Sealing down through the palms, the hands. Allow the eyes to settle in between the ankles. Finding that long, even breathing. Take a rise up into the balls of the feet, inhale, and then exhale to lower down. And again, inhale to rise, and exhale to lower. One more time, inhale to rise, and exhale to lower. And then last time, let's just come up onto the balls of the feet, and we'll take that right leg up into your three-legged dog, and then we're going to let that hip open out now. You might be able to lift the leg up a little bit higher. Try to keep the shoulders square to the mat. Keep breathing. Take a big inhale, reach the right toes up towards the ceiling and then bend through the knee. We're going to circle that right knee, so stepping that right foot forward towards the outside of the right hand. When you're ready, circling that right foot, stepping it all the way forward. It's coming into your lizard variation. We'll just hold with the knee off just for a breath. And then dropping that left knee down, release the top of the left foot down. Allowing that left hip to drop down towards the mat. Steady gaze with the eyes. And then let's walk this right foot in towards the center. Come onto the fingertips, take an inhale, reach the sternum forward. And then as you exhale, let's start to straighten into this right leg, flex the foot towards the face. Take an inhale to lengthen out, and then exhale, folding down. 
to where you can. You're bringing those hands a little bit further forward. If it's early in the morning, you might just really need to keep that right knee bent and stay up a bit more upright. Feel free to do what your body needs. And then bending into that right leg, tuck the back toes under, plant the hands down and step back into down facing dog. Walk the hands back towards the feet. Soften through the knees, let the head relax, and either taking hold of the elbows or option to interlace the fingers at the base of the head. It's using the weight of the hands to help lengthen out the back of the neck and the entire spine. And if it feels available for you to straighten your legs, you could draw the quadriceps up to do that. One more breath. And release the hands down, soften through the knees, take a spine or to come all the way up. Inhaling, palms, hands come together. Exhale, forward fold. Walk your hands back out into your down dog. Take a breath. Rising up onto the balls of the feet. Lifting that left leg up into your three-legged dog and then opening out the hip. I try to keep that left shoulder square to the mat. Reach the left toes up and then bending to that left knee, we're going to circle this right, this left leg, sorry, to step it to the outside of the left hand and biggest circle as you can, stepping it to the outside. Take a moment here in your lizard with the knee off. And then placing that right knee down, release the top of the right foot down as well. Let the eyes settle when you can. On the exhale, encouraging that right hip to release down towards the mat. And then let's walk this left foot in towards the middle. Come under the fingertips, take an inhale, and then exhale, starting to straighten to this left leg, flexing the left foot towards the face, inhaling, and then exhale, coming down to where you can, or maybe staying where you are, just focusing on your breathing. If possible, continue to keep that left foot flexed. And then let's bend into this left leg. Walk your hands forward. Tuck the toes under. Lift that right knee off and we're just going to bring this right knee forward so we can come into a seated position. So just bring that right leg forward, coming down to your seat. And then we're going to come into our Baddha Konasana. So we're going to bring the soles of the feet together here. And you might better bring those heels in a little bit closer. Just take a moment, use your hands behind you, try to lift up and tilt the pelvis slightly forward. So you can be right up on your sitting bones. Use your hands to open out the feet. Just take a couple of breaths here, just upright. Try to lift out of both sides of the waist. Taking another inhale to lengthen up. As you exhale, starting to shift forward. And you might use your elbows to gently open up the legs. Try not to force though. And you might be staying a little bit more upright or all the way upright. If you feel comfortable, you might bring those arms, forearms down onto the ground. Noticing where you can soften. And then let's 
let's take an inhale, walk your hands back up. And let's open the legs out into our wide-legged pose here, or Prasarita Padottanasana. And just take a moment, just hands behind you, trying to lift up out of the lower back. And don't, if you need to have your legs quite narrow, then absolutely feel free. So don't worry about opening the legs out too wide. Just be at a width that feels sustainable for a few breaths and your breath can keep going quite easily. And we're gonna turn, I'm gonna mirror you, so I'm gonna turn to the right hand side. So you're gonna turn the shoulders to face your right leg, try to press down through the backs of the thighs. Toes keep pointing up towards the ceiling. Take an in, how to lengthen up. As you exhale, start to walk your hands forward just to where you can. Keep grounding down through that left sitting bone. And for some of you, you might be able to hold the outside of your right foot. Trying to turn the shoulders to face that right leg. And then let's come back upright, going the other way. So turning the shoulders to face the left leg. Take an inhale. As you exhale, start to walk the hands forward to where you can. Grinding down through that right sitting bone now. And maybe for some of you holding the outside of that left foot. Thinking about the sternum reaching forward towards uh, that left knee. And then coming back upright. Rotating back to the middle, taking an inhale, hands behind you to lift up. And then as you exhale, starting to walk the hands forward. And you might just come a little bit of the way forward as we keep holding. You might find a little bit more space starts to open up. And if this, is, this pose is just a real struggle, which it is for many people, you could sit up on a blanket or sit up on a block. That can help to give your pelvis a bit more space so you can tilt forward. And if you do have more space and you want to keep going forward, then feeling free to come down into your forearms. Try to stay active through the legs. So drawing those quadriceps up, toes and knees pointing up to the ceiling. And then let's walk the hands back up. Using your hands behind the legs, let's bring the legs together and turning to face the top of your mat. Coming down onto your back. Just coming into your constructive rest position for a moment. Let the feet be flat on the mat. Just closing down the eyes. Let's cross the right leg over the left and then bring the legs in towards the chest. And you might just be able to hold the front of the shin or hold the top, that bottom knee. If you can, holding outside of either shin or all the way down to the outside of the ankles and then start to draw the legs in towards the chest. Tips of the shoulders are drawing down towards the mat. Taking one more big inhale. Stay for the exhale, try to bring the legs in a little bit closer. And then let's release that and we'll swap it around. Crossing the left leg over the right, bringing the knees in and holding onto that first knee or top knee, if you can, outside of the shin or outside of the ankles. Taking an inhale. As you exhale, try to bring the legs in towards the chest. Relax the shoulders. Just 
two more full breaths. And then gently releasing the legs and extending the legs long. Come into your Shavasana. Arms a little bit away from the body, palms facing up. Allowing the eyes to close completely. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Just allowing the breath to settle back into its natural rhythm. Allowing yourself to come to complete rest for the next few minutes. Feel free to stay here for as long as you'd like to. Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. I'll see you next time. Namaste.